Stop! It's those fools from Gryffindor. Filthy half -things. My naked weapon is drawn. Quarrel, I will back thee. How? Turn thy back and run? Fear me not. No, Mary, I fear thee. Let us take the law of our sides. Let them begin. I will frown at them as I pass by, and let them take it as they list. Nay, as they dare, I will bite my thumb at them, which is a disgrace to them, should they bear it. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? No, sir. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, but I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir? No, sir. But if you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. No better. Say better. Here comes one of my master's kinsmen now. You lie. Draw, if you be men. Gregory, remember thy swashing blow! Heart fools, put down thy wands. You know not what you do. What? Draw and talk of peace? I hate the word, as I hate all Montagues, and thee, come at thee, coward! What's going on here? Ho! Oh, give me my wand! Ah! Wait, where's my wand? I knew I shouldn't have married you. Luckily, I can summon my own. Aha! Ah! Subjects, enemies to peace, throw down your weapons. I'm tired of this fighting. I've told you before, you Montagues, <laughs> and you Capulets. <laughs> Enough! There will be no more of this senseless fighting between you two. Once again, on pain of death, all men depart. You're a wizard, Harry. Good morrow, cousin. Is the day so young? But new struck nine. Ay, me, sad hours seem so long. What sadness lengthens Romeo's hours? Not having that which having makes them short. In love. Out. Of love. Out of her favor, where I am in love. And that love, so gentle in his view. I'm not Romeo anymore. I've lost myself. What skank has gotten you like this? The beautiful Rosalind. She doesn't love me back. You need to forget about her. She's nothing but trouble. Okay, I'll get back in the game. Gaze upon other beauties. Oh, Paris, come in. Good evening, Paris. Now it's quite a fight today. Yes, both Montague and I are bound to keep the peace from now on. Of honorable reckoning are you both. And pity to say you live that odds too long. But tell me, my lord, what say you to my suit? My child is but a stranger to this world. Let two more summers wither in their pride, ere we may think her ripe to be a bride. But younger than she are happy mothers made. She's 14, bro. There's a party at my house tonight. You can come and try to win her over if you want. Even though she's just 14. Ah, oh, here comes my servant now. Servant, I have a list. Find these people and invite them to my party tonight. Paris, let's bounce. Find out whose names are written here. It is written that the shoemaker should meddle with his yard and his tailor with his loss, the fisher with his pencils and the painters with his nets. But I am sent here to find out whose names are here writ and can never find out what names the, the writing person here writ. 
I must to the learned in good time. Are you still hung up about that Rosalind chick? She was perfect. And now she's gone! God, ye Godin, I pray, sir, can you read? Aye, if I know the letters in the language. Where is this party? To our house. Whose house? My master's. Well, who's your master? The great Lord Capulet, of course. <gasps> hey, bro. Her Rosalind's gonna be at this party tonight. Gonna help you find some other girls tonight. No one's ever gonna be as good as Rosalind. I know some fine girls that I can get you with. Let's go crash the party. I'm down. Hottie spaghettis with a naughty body. Yeah! Nurse, where's my daughter? Come her forth to me. Oh, Juliet! My dad, I'm here. What is your will? This is the matter. Nurse, give leave a while. We must talk in secret. Okay. Nurse, come back again. I remember me. Thou's hear our counsel. Thou knowest that my daughter is of a pretty age. She's fourteen. She's not fourteen. You want a bet? Shut up. Hey, Sir Hathor, I wish to see you get married, Pretty Juliet. Mary? That Mary is the very thing I came to talk of. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? It is an honor that I dream not of. The valiant Paris seeks you for his love. Oh, that is a man of wax! I'll look to like if looking like and move, but no more deep will I endart my eye than your consent gives strength to make it fly. Let's go, Juliet. Oh, Lady Capulet, the party's about to start! The date is out of such felicity. We'll have no Cupid to tweak the spark. Bearing a tartar's pointed bow of laugh, scaring the ladies like a crow keeper. Nor no without book prologue, faintly spoke after the prompter for <laughs> our entrance. But let them measure us by what they will. We'll measure them a measure, and then be gone. Yeah, well, you have dancing shoes. I have a soul of lead. You're a lover. Borrow Cupid's wings and soar to a common bow. Why is love so rough? It's such a burden. Well, if love be rough with you, be rough with love. Come knock and enter, but no sooner but in every man, and betake him to his legs. I'm a lost cause, fellas. I dreamt a dream last night. Dreams are for wimps. Live in the real world. Fine. Then guide my broom. Yeah. Yeah. You kissed by the book. Hey, baby. Oh, Juliet, your mother wants to see you. What is her mother? Catherine is, of course. She is of Slytherin. Oh my, my life is my foe's dead. You kiss by the book. Oh, Juliet, your mother wants to see you. What is her mother? My Catherine is, of course. She is of Slytherin. Oh dear, my life is my life's foe. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure to see you all. Um, who is that? I don't know. Go ask his name. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. What is your name? Oh, I'm Romeo. Oh. Oh, Romeo. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. He is Romeo of Ripperdo. My only love sprung from my only hate. Don't let us go.
Oh, they guess I've gone. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That was terrible. Dude, you, you'll be, you, Jacob, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. I think you're lying. Go ahead, babe. Fetch me a rat.